Welcome back to May New Lofts. Today we have a lot to cover, so make sure you watch this video through to the end so you don't miss anything and you're not commenting in previous videos why you're doing this and why you're doing that. So let's get started. Before we get into this, make sure you hit the like button and drop some comments down below as the video goes along. Ask questions because um, things are about to be changing quite a bit. So it is life that there is a lot of things going on and whatnot, COVID lockdowns and crazy prices in lumber and things like that so it is making things a little bit more challenging along with working life all that kind of stuff so basically we've come up with a plan to hurry up and get some birds into this loft we are starting to breed and i do want to start breeding more but we do need to sort of start working on our flying team for next year which is um i want to try and get that done early i want to get it done early and then we can top up any birds if we do lose any around the loft or any short tosses we could breed some late breeds things like that um, we do have some timber here so um, we will go into that a little bit later in the video there's some quite big lengths of timber here we've got a lot of materials here to build that we probably need to utilize so let's get into it because um, a few changes a little bit of a direction change but um, you know that's why things change like the wind so let's go so the first topic that i want to talk about is mrp um, mrp i've decided that um I just want to simplify things and that channel will be going and I was going to annoy a lot of people but um, I'm going to keep all the content onto this channel and I'll just have to restructure things a little bit on the homepage so that you can easily see the difference between colours, racing pigeons, all that kind of stuff. Um, just because realistically just trying to simplify everything and put a lot more focus into this channel um, which I have been lately and it's actually shown in big numbers with subscribers and all the numbers and those type of things which overly aren't too important but um it's a metric that we can measure that we are doing the right thing so we're going to keep going um try and simplify things there will be a restructure coming and a whole bunch of the channels are probably going to dissolve into other ones you will notice that this channel mainly lofts has already just taken on the branding and the feel of mrp you notice that in the display picture the header and things like that and that will continue as um you know we restructure and simplify things just a, just more aligning and changing the focus getting a real narrow focus on things the next thing i want to talk about is this loft situation that we're dealing with it's um one that's going to start taking place over the next few days i've already started um with getting the timber and those type of things so we've got this loft it was always going to be just a temporary loft um, I do like it actually, it just needs a few minor changes. So I've made the decision what we're going to do with this loft. We're just going to do some renovations to it. We're going to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. Um, and we're also going to move it over to a position over here, which we'll have a look at in a minute. The only reason is um, I've got a lot of projects going on here with um, sheds and carports and like workshops and all that kind of stuff. So I can't really um, put the loft down I want just yet because it might interfere with um, applications to the Shire and all those type of things because um, that loft's gonna be quite big. So the plan is that we will get a machine to come in, pick this up, the whole thing, it's gonna carry it all the way over to a new position over here. We'll go and have a look at that in a minute. And then once it's over there, we can start putting on all the new bits and pieces. Those bits of timber that I've got on the car there, they are gonna be for this Avery section. So this Avery section, I'm gonna pull that whole bit off. Um, I'm gonna upgrade it. I do have a whole bunch of new grating which is over in the pile over there. So we're gonna make this new one the same height. I'm gonna do a little bit more changes on the front um, just because mainly a lot of the water that did come in there will come in there. But the position of the loft in the new area is gonna be a little bit different. So this is basically, um, the changes for this is just to get ready for next season because if we the new loft is gonna to take too long to build. Um, and it's just going to be too much of a hassle right now. So if we can just get a loft big enough to fit 60 or so birds in, um, we will be ready for next season because I don't want to miss out like I did this year with all the move. We're going to do some, not so much major renovations, but we're just going to put a new aviary on it with an improved entry um, and also this aviary will be longer. It'll probably come out to here a bit more but it'll be different grading as well. So the same kind of style, but just a different color, the stuff that we've got over there. Um, and also this whole section as well, will come out much further as well. So it'll probably come out to about there. So we're much bigger. We might even look at um, putting a separator down the middle. A few bits and pieces will work out next week because that's when we're gonna move it. So basically what we wanna do is probably put a sliding door on here. We definitely need a bigger door and a few bits and pieces in there. But that's all we're basically doing. We're basically just gonna 
do some renovations on this loft, make it a little bit more waterproof. We're changing the position, bigger, more improved aviary, bigger, much longer here this way, probably come out to here. Um, improve that side door and we're going to put whole new perches all the way through we're going to put in smaller better style box perches most likely with a little bit of a ramp at the back so the droppings drop down um, and also just sort of work on that trap entry section that is going to be the simplest most effective option for me right now um, the new loft i want to put a lot more thought into it i don't like right now what i'm doing if i'm trying to build it now is just rushing it and i don't want to do that because basically here is where my shed's going to be and i want to put the new loft here i've done a lot of drawing things like that and you'll see there's a lot of concreting and stuff going on around the place as well but hopefully this is where i want to put the new loft when we do build it i've got a whole bunch of materials here i built for the smaller loft i'm going to utilize all them to renovate that one so we're not really spending any extra money which is fantastic and then hopefully what we'll do um, we'll leave this space free so then when my shed and everything gets put up here we can actually work on this one um, and i'm hoping to move in this other loft here but we're going to face it the opposite direction because all the weather comes in from kind of this direction so that's only temporary enough to get us through next season but this area is all um, tidied up and ready to go um, i'm going to be installing some fences along here in the near future because this will be our backyard so it's in a good position where i can sit here watch the birds come back and we're going to leave this section free here um, so that over the next six or so months we can start kind of working on a proper loft like a really big nice one this one when we do it the little one over here is going to be pretty good but um for now we're just trying to simplify things and not just rush in and try and build this thing and end up hating it so we'll see how we go this one i'm hoping to be most likely a lot bigger and concrete base off the ground 100% gridding all the way through like a mesh flooring so all the droppings and everything drops out but that's why I don't want to rush into it because it's a big project full metal welded everything but for now we just need to get this loft here do the renovations we might even bring the little breeding loft over here as well put it up beside it keep everything in the same spot and simple just so there is minimal disturbance so I've already paid for all that materials I've got sitting over there so basically all we need to do is just move the loft over there we'll move this one over there because um, all these are not on eggs so it's going to be super easy we'll take all the birds out move it all over hopefully next week I've already called the contractor um, lock them in to get that done they're going to come out here it's like a five minute job so we'll move all the lofts over there and then we can just start breeding and I'm not spending thousands and thousands of dollars on a new loft which I'm not really interested in doing right now um, until we get all the other infrastructure in for the house and obviously this homestead because once that loft is in place there's no moving it because it's going to be on a concrete slab it's going to be bolted or concreted into that slab and it's going to be a pretty pretty epic setup so if we run the new loft over here which is the other one we make that from 2.4 meters to 3.6 um, and then we extend that aviary section out more it's going to be able to accommodate a lot more birds that loft over there technically is good for around about 40 to 50 birds so if we add a little bit extra on it and a bigger aviary then we should be able to have 60 birds in there comfortably um, long as we can get them all ready for race season which is one of the biggest focuses right now that's why i'm kind of getting away from that loft over there because if i start building that we're not going to be ready we really need to get all these guys down properly on eggs i would say in the next few weeks i'm meant to be picking up my rings i was hoping to pick up my new race rings this week but um that's proving to be difficult to get hold of the people and actually even get the rings to start with so that's a bit of a pain um but we will definitely chase them up i don't really want to put any more old rings on it so we'll stop breeding with all these pairs and then we'll start looking at um, repairing them all up and tidying bits and pieces up when they're all over there in the one area. So that is the plan. I just want to make sure that I am ready for next season, 100%. We've got enough birds and the birds are ready to go. This loft will be fine. We'll just do the um, few modifications. We'll improve this whole front section. We'll add a lot more perches in there. Um, might even end up with 100 perches. So there's a lot more extra perches for all the birds improved trapping system and we'll be in another position and we'll try and get this loft through to the next section we're going to give it a whole renovation it will be um totally different color it's probably going to blend in with the house and the backyard some more and um yeah start filling it with birds we just can't really have this downtime and trying to build this massive fancy loft and getting too crazy because if you do watch all my other channels you'll know that um 
there's going to be a lot of building going on right now and the next step for building after this will be the high flyers because that's been long overdue and they need to have something pretty fancy so stay tuned for that um, i'm going to get stuck in and doing some building i'm going to pre-make this whole front section so when we do move it over we're just going to screw it on and it's basically ready to go so that will all be filmed as well so we're going to build this whole front aviary section um, i'm going to start on that today actually um, it's all going to be painted it's going to have improved wiring system on it none of this double wire um, better entry as well um, better set up for an ets for the racing side of things and um, we're going to pre-make the add-on section at the back here as well so that'd be 1.2 meters by 1.8 and then two meters high so basically all we got to do uh, once it's over there same thing screw it all together put it up and then paint it and the birds are ready to go in so basically the birds i can just put them in the basket for a you know half a day or in the other cages and there's not much disruption really and then later on we can just start um once it's all done we can start doing all the perches and putting all the perches in there so pretty exciting make sure you stay tuned um finally made a decision i'm actually yeah actually pretty relaxed now and happy that we've we're going this direction because it just takes a lot of load you know off my work plate pretty much um and then we can just get in and be ready for racing because it's going to be pretty intense and once we get that um season under our belt then we can really start implementing all those learnings into the other loft as well so pretty interesting stay tuned i'm pretty excited so i'm going to do some building let's start building this baby see you